Greetings, YouTube. It's late. We're talking like around midnight Central Standard Time late, and I thought I'd be doing a late video talking about the Vision Arena scores because they seem to be pretty uh, pretty standard given what we expect for the new featured champion that is not the most hyped up. And I think it's safe to say that some people believe Vision is not worth the grind, but maybe he'll be amazing in time. You never know. But... Uh, my inbox was not flooded by vision scores. It was flooded by people who were angry because after checking with their alliance mates, especially in the five-star featured arena grind, which for those of you who don't do the five-star featured arena like I do twice a week because, again, I have no life, uh, normally the goal is to get between, I don't know, 14 and a half to 15 million points now to get the 2,000 five-star shards or 4,000 five-star shards per week when you double it. In fact, the average cutoff has been around 14.1 to 14.2 for like 70 to 80% of the last few weeks. So you can just imagine how shocked some users were who put up actually far more points than that to receive a different bracket. So in this inconsistent arena rewards post, you'll see that uh, somebody put up 15 million which I put up 15 million and I feel very safe about it. And yet they got the 11 to 30% tier. And yet if you're thinking, well, that must be because it just went up. Well, actually it didn't because the 14.1 that has been so common to receive those 2005 star shards got this guy his 2000. So he scores about what? 10 uh, or I should say about 1 million uh, less and gets the 10%, and the other one scores 1 million more and gets the 30. Now, here's the fascinating thing. Since this is the first time we've really seen this bug, uh, the question becomes, because they claim their rewards, well, this guy technically didn't deserve it, or I guess, I guess maybe he did. Let's just say maybe somebody got it who didn't deserve it. But let's say that uh, this guy gets sent the correct rewards. Is he going to be sent the difference of what he wasn't sent, or is he going to be sent two different rewards? That's where the confusion comes in. And uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a fascinating scenario. We have not seen this before, but obviously if you scored 15 million and you didn't get the same rewards that the people who scored under you got, you're pretty dang ticked. So we do have a update that we'll get on this. Thank you. We're working on getting it fixed on our end. No need to raise a ticket. The teams are aware and we'll be able to correct it once we have a proper handle on it. Apologies for the inconvenience. So, you know, the big question just is, how's it going to be uh, handled for those of you who did not get the proper rewards and actually got stiffed? I, uh, I would like to think there's a solution to be able to just give you the difference. But if you get both rewards, it would actually end up giving you more than usual and that raises a completely different concern when it terms uh to ethics and, and arena rewards so if you are somebody who messaged me with very similar screenshots as the one to the beginning of this one where you scored 14.2 but got worse rewards than somebody who scored 14.0 just know it was not just you it was a ton of people and that is something that kabam is now well aware of i just can't imagine the shock on this user's face when he put up 15 million a very safe score one that is probably about a million more than we've seen in terms of what you would normally expect to get and then to get the 11 to 30 percent my first thought would be like oh my gosh everybody is just suddenly doing this arena and those scores are rocketing and then when you hear that people got less of a score but still got better rewards that's where the frustration comes in so i guess i'll keep you updated on this but until that time thanks for watching youtube have a good one and uh hopefully this will be corrected very very soon technically i can also say happy monday